This is Twit. Apple has released, this is interesting, and I haven't heard these yet, but I think some of you have, audiobooks with AI narrators. It sounds really good. Does it? Uh, depends. Really? Yeah. Let me, let me. It's, it's, go ahead. I, I think I can play some. So um, can I on there? This is the Apple page. Yeah. Uh, is there a sample here? There's got to be somewhere. Explore there Apple. Some samples there. Yeah, we're there. Okay. Yeah. What, so, so you like it, Alex, and you don't like it, Andy. I just, I think that it's typical of AI generated stuff where it, it's fine. It's fine. It's not going to, if you, if you paid for an audio book that would had a, this AI generated uh, uh, narration on it, you'd be fine with it. It's just not good. Well, and I'd rather have an actor this, do it because they really bring it to life. I mean, yeah. a human I mean, is my, always going to do better than a, but there are a lot of yeah. books that have never been audio narrated. Exactly. That's, and that's, and that's a point. My, my only fear with this is that uh, now the default for audio publishing will be, well, of course, we're going to use an AI. If it's a very, very special fancy book that we think we're going to make a lot of money on, then we'll hire an actual voice actor, uh, voice, uh, voice artist in order to produce it. I mean, I just, I think it's okay. I don't think, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's particularly great. It's fine. It serves. I just don't want it to become the default of our expectations for audiobooks. That's all. And I think that, I think that the, one of the differences probably that you probably listen to a lot of fiction and I don't, so I don't, I don't listen to fiction. I don't, so I, so I, I, that's what movies are for, for me. So, so I won't, um, I do, so I do listen to a lot of nonfiction too. For, and, for, and even, even when they're not performing like all it's, it's even when it's, it's there's an audio well, book, it's such a, it's such a fine skill. So it's they do, they, they have four different voices, Madison, Jackson, Helena, and Mitchell. I don't know why the first three are uh, cities in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin and Montana. I don't know where Mitchell is. Let's see what Mitchell's voice is. He does nonfiction. I do know that there is an extraordinary sense here of caring and sharing, and that the sharing includes. Oh, right. first of all, I'm mad because they stole a real narrator's voice. That is mm. that is a voice I recognize. I'm sure they license. I'm sure they license. I hope they license yeah. his prosody. I'm sure they yeah. didn't. They didn't steal yeah, it. But no, I have to say, that sounds like him reading it. Right? This is enough for me. As the years add up, I find increasing good sense in falling this back. This is the guy who does uh, uh, Project Hail Mary. <laughs> All right. Here's Helena, a digital voice, also nonfiction. On nights with a new moon, we would walk to the end of the beach to find our favorite constellation, the Pleiades. Oh, now, Andy, that that's pretty dang good. Well, and the two, the two above are better. All right. Here's the Madison. This is for fiction and romance. Movement in the greenhouse <laughs> drew his eye, and a woman emerged. At first, he wasn't sure. The woman was about the right age, but there was something different about her, about the way she carried herself. So there is a Mitchell in in Wisconsin. So we've got Madison and Mitchell in Wisconsin, and Jackson and Helena, what Helena Montana and Jackson Wyoming, right? <laughs> All right, let's I try Jackson. To find a wall of trees had materialized ahead of us. Oh, these are surprising. I hadn't noticed good. because I'd been staring at my feet. Oh, I this couldn't is, believe the feet. You know what, Andy? I'm going to share your dismay only because I wanted to do this in my in, in my retirement is read some audiobooks. <laughs> and these are pretty darn good and considering yeah. they're free. Yeah. They're they're, well, they're they're good. I actually I actually had to AB them a little bit myself cuz again, my my first reaction was my god, this is a lot better than I assumed it would be. It does I've heard audiobooks that would again, if, if I received this as an audible book, I would not give it a second uh, a second thought i wouldn't be really impressed with it but i wouldn't give, wouldn't give a second thought when i compared it to like an actual live narrator the the one of the big things that i really kind of notice is that at the end of sentences there's a they they they, they, they the ai just hits a wall stops and then starts the next sentence whereas the, the it's it's more like uh with professionals there's oftentimes the i'm breathing in i'm breathing out this is where i'm yeah, doing yeah, a breath yeah. right here there's a human. And, and it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like here's the here's the first sentence number one and now here's sentence number two right i'm now reading sentence number three it's it's again it's fine i just to some degree i might prefer that because sometimes the narrators get in the way and well, actually and, and, i'm listening to one of the books you recommended andy the book about the rosetta stone which i love yeah. but the narrator needs a producer because he mispronounces words a lot Okay, well, true. And, and, and <laughs> I don't know if an AI would right. mispronounce it's, it's a word or not. It's, it's, it's better. I will concede that absolutely it's better than bad narration any day. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first, first thing is I must have missed that episode. What's the what's the one on Rosetta Stone? Oh, I, it's so oh, good. It's about, it's about it's about how the Rosetta Stone was no, translated. What, what, I just need the title. I don't, I don't it's called, I'm sorry. It's called The Writing of the Gods. Okay, okay. I'll, and, I'll get it. Uh, so anyway, so. The, and it's by Eric, is that, Eric Edward Dolnick. 
And the the narrator's perfectly good. He's not he's not doesn't sound bad. I listen I mean obviously voice quality and the capability to kind of communicate the idea is paramount. But when they yeah. when they they need a producer cuz it's right. nobody's going to get all the words right and he gets a lot of them wrong and it makes me crazy. I My hate it when I hear is, is, for instance I'm listening to a technology book and they pronounce it cludge. <laughs> I was just My, listening to a book where he said cludge. Go ahead. My thing is I I started getting into listening to um on on Kindle on the Kindle app on the phone, if you use the Amazon's, you know, um, uh, assistant and you ask to play a song, I mean, not play a song, play a book, it'll do it. It's the only way you can get it to do audio, <laughs> like, you know, in on the, on the iPhone. Um, and what I learned very quickly is that I could listen to an AI voice much faster than I could listen to yeah. a, mm -hmm. um, and, and because I don't listen to fiction, all I listen, I mean, like for me, I am literally hoovering data. And, and so I just want, I want that. And, and I have a hard time. I will lose track of the, st I will no, lose track of the book if it sense. goes too slow yeah. at one X. I, I think about other things while they're talking at two X. I just think about the book, yeah. you know? And, and so the, and, and the thing is, so I find it actually easier to concentrate on something that's moving faster than slower. Mm -hmm. And the AI is easier to go faster because it's it, the diction is, is cleaner to the point that Andy was making the end, those ends actually make it easier for me to hear it at speed. That's a good point. The, the um, uh, the interesting thing is, is that I think that the opportunity here, I mean, I think that the biggest books are all going to get still have an, someone narrating them and still have those out there. But there is so many books, like one of my favorite books that I, that I read Africa, Africa biography of a continent by John reader in the nineties is like 800 pages without <laughs> on a long tail. I would love for them to release that with one of these voices so that I could you know, listen to it again, you know, and there's all these books that were never, they're never going to make financial yeah. sense exactly. to do this. And now suddenly we're going to be, for me, and then I think about all of Apple news, Apple news is already playing with narration and all, you know, that, that's where they have great narration. I mean, the best, actually the best narration I've ever heard for a magazine is Apple news um, narration, but I would love that, to know that every magazine, every article, every whatever was all you know, um, you know, they're like the economist does it for every one of them. Um, uh, economist foreign affairs does humans, it for some though. of them. They do. But, but the thing is, is that that is not practical for most great magazines. The economist is an international, it's, yeah. you know, and, and it doesn't make sense. And so it, like, for instance, foreign affairs, it was one I've been listening, reading since I was like 12. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the, the issue is, is that foreign affairs doesn't put all the art. Yeah. They Can't. only put the articles in that are paid for by Noah. And right. so, so that you only get this little like one fifth of the of the every month magazine, so I think whereas gonna, this would mean all of it was available. You're describing what is exactly right, which is there is a, a kind of a, a gulf. There is peop There are people who, and some people who do both, which I do, and I'm sure you do, listen for pleasure, for entertainment, listen for the art, and there are people who listen for the information. And it makes perfect sense for a competent AI, especially because you can speed it up, to read the stuff where you just want to get the information in. And then there's then there's times when you want to listen to a performance, and that's what a real reader is. And I think Andy's wanting to hear the performance. You wouldn't want to hear an opera done by AI because there's no art no, in yeah. it. <laughs> So, so, but yeah. now here's the question, and I hope this stays the case. Right now, it's cheap to do AI, and so there is that advantage. In fact, that's how Apple's pitching this, by the way. Every book deserves to be heard with Apple Books. Digital narration, now yours can be, which is a strange way to put that. With Apple Books, digital narration, oh, I get it. Now yours can be. See, that's right. why you have to have a human. But that's what's so encouraging about this is there are so many books that are simply not, not available get put out. And they because tell, the economics don't work. They right? tell indies how to do this. Or, in fact, they tell you how you can publish on Apple Books, including publishing an audio version of your book, which I think is fantastic. So that's beneficial as long as, but I bet Apple charges the same amount for an AI book as for a non-AI book on audio, right? Yeah, I don't think that. I, it's just a service to let you do it. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, for the if, publisher, it, it should be cheap to get an AI book because that's five thousand dollars less. That's what the standard rate is for narrating <laughs> a book. So, I guess five thousand dollars isn't that much cheaper over a million people, but still, um, I feel like AI. You should pay less for that. Am I wrong, Alex? No, I, 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 I don't know. As a consumer, I mean, I pay in Audible. I pay in credits, so I don't, I don't know what the costs <laughs> you are. Pay for those books. credits. Trust me, uh, it's coming. I do. Out I do. I have yeah. some monthly, but but the point is, is that it's um, just because they've uh, managed to obscure the actual cost doesn't mean it doesn't cost anything. It's like it's like twenty five <laughs> bucks a month. I think whatever the Audible is twenty five bucks a month, I know, and I get enough. I, I, I always have credit. All I know is I 
always have credit. I wonder you know, if Audible would ever use this, though. This is interesting. Well, I, I, I think, I mean, I, I, they might, though, because, again, this is the thing of, like, what happens to all the books? We think of every book as having an audiobook. They don't. And if like, you're somebody who right. listens to audiobooks, you know not every book has an yeah, audiobook, so and especially if it's a small press or an indie or something like that. And so we or can, old. I mean, everybody's rushing to, oh, no, all audiobook readers are going to be put out of business, which I, I'm with Andy. I think that there is an art to a lot of this and that it's not necessarily true. But there's an accessibility issue here, which is lots of books sure. aren't accessible. They're just not accessible because they're, the, the economics don't pencil out. And so, and anybody who's listened to kind of like the really cheap, crappy uh, voice synthesis oh, in a book or a magazine it. or newspaper, it's it's un, it's unlistenable. It's terrible, yeah. right? It, you can't maybe for a short amount of time, but not over long term. So if you can get good AI to make all of these books that never had an edition for audio uh, audible, at, I mean generically, not <laughs> trademark of audible, like to, just to be able to be listenable. That's a, I think that's a huge win for the authors. It's interesting that these are in specific categories. I was talking to my friend Dan Morin, who is a science fiction novelist, in addition to being <laughs> my co-writer. He on has Six a Colors. very good reader on his books, by the way. And he has a, he has an excellent reader. In fact, yeah. so good that people will have discovered his books because they will exactly. listen to anything that that reader exactly. does. But he, but he says, you know, first off, it's part of the author economics to sell out audio rights and and that's a big deal but also there's this challenge which is what if you sign a deal and there's no audiobook and everybody comes to him and says when will the audiobook be coming out and like if you don't have an answer you are losing customers however dan's a science fiction novelist and he has to provide a pronunciation guide to his reader right because he because it's got lots of made up science fiction -y terms it's interesting that they've specified romance and nonfiction, because it sounds to me like the other back end work that's happening here is for each of these books, they're probably trying to build sort of like proper pronunciations. And in some wilder genres like science fiction, it probably wouldn't work as well, at least not yet. Right. But I could foresee a day when those science fiction writers will be able to like, you know, put in their weird made up words and have it all be read correctly down the road. Do we know I'm looking at uh, the audio books section of Apple's iBooks. They don't have a, this, this one's narrated by a robot section. I wish they did. Do oh, we, you can search. There is an AI narration. I think there's a search term you can put in books and it oh, will okay. actually, Let me see if it actually works. give you AI. what it is. Because I would, I'll buy one just to see how, and especially speeding it up, AI narration. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shelter from the storm narrated by Apple books. It says, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were looking. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Hi, so, I, shall we listen to this romance novel, "Shelter from the Storm," narrated by Apple Books? I like this. So, yeah, you can do that AI narration. I don't know if I want to listen to a romance novel. Um, and again, I look at it like all the when you're looking about Apple News, it's all of those all romance things. Novels. <laughs> no, 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 but all, all lumberjacks. All, all, yeah, but, <laughs> the rebel but, princess, say you love me. <laughs> Trail of <laughs> secrets. <laughs> The Doctor's no Unexpected Family. <laughs> but like this is a great example. I found one in here called The Lumberjacks by Donald McKay. And yeah. it was, you know, it was shortlisted for an award in 1978. So it's oh. a deep catalog nonfiction oh, nice. book, right? And it doesn't have an audiobook. And so Apple ran it through its system. And now you can get an audiobook for the book that otherwise wouldn't have one. That's great. Is it That's all great. about lumberjacks? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the 19th century spawned a unique breed of men. Donald McKay. Their woodman skills All right. and rough coats of conduct. There yeah. You go. Uh, it's seven ninety nine, narrated by a digital voice. Shortlist. Yeah. No, you found a good one. You found a good one. So, yeah, and I can also choose as narrator Apple Books. I bet I can search for narrator Apple Books. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's all try one. What do you say, kids? Andy, would you be willing to... <laughs> Give it a shot. I will give a definitely give yeah, it a shot. I sure. want to see this. The problem is most of the books I want to read are big enough that somebody's narrated it. But of yeah, course. if you were really into lumberjacks, <laughs> I could I'm see. Like, I've been wanting to read that I, book since see, 1978. I saw that in the list and I thought it was a romance <laughs> novel about a guy in flannel. And I thought, uh -huh. well, you know, probably, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe you don't it know. is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, listen to sample. Okay. Can we do this without getting in trouble? Let's see. No, oh, come on. Be brave. Be bold. Loggers in British Columbia. Of the three interwoven ages of Eastern Canadian logging, the first... It's a book about lumberjacks! No, 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 no. <laughs> listen to it. More importantly, it can. listen to it at 2x. Oh, 2X. yeah. Can I? Oh, I can't in the sample, probably. Uh, 
That would be fun. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe What's I can. Let's try it at 2X. Here we go. The Lumberjacks. The second age. The lumber industry. Began as a buy-saw timber for the growing towns of the United States. You don't listen like that, Andy. I mean, uh, Alex. That's I, how I listen to. Oh, yeah. That's how I listen. To Canada and open seemingly endless forests of spruce. Okay, that's one and a half. That's usable. In British Columbia. I'm, get, logging, I'm getting anxious just listening to the sample. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's how I listen to everything. Yeah. It does it's, 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 that digital it's jacks on meth. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like when I when I go back to one X, like I'll be like, what, what happened to the phone? Like the person's, it's all stretched out. I'm actually out. Like, disappointed what, what's going because on? Apple's doing the same thing with the digital narration that they do with a human narration, which is using a, a special tool to speed it up and by taking out bits. And that's not how they should do it. They should have the AI read it faster. They could do that, right? Just say, You're hey, right. AI, read it 2X, mm. please. And then it wouldn't sound so burbly. It would just sound like the AI is talking fairly fast. Yeah. I don't, yeah I'm, I'm sure that's a 1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1 yeah. feature, right? Yeah, it's really interesting. What's that tool called, uh, Alex? We used to call it a harmonizer. I don't know what they use these days. But you can speed stuff. It, actually, every uh, software. Yeah, all text-to-speech engines have that, right, of, yeah. of how fast or slow do you want the speaker to Yeah, you should be able talk. to read it faster instead of doing the digital thing where it speeds it up and it gives you that right. weird kind of mm -hmm. thing sound. Right. Yeah. You, ju you just want it to act like it's really caffeinated. Yeah, it might. Like, it the might. guy's really excited about something. I to think lumberjacks to. are the greatest thing ever. I want to tell you all about the British Columbian the lumberjack Spruce revolution. Western Canada. I, Canada. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I'm not sure which one I would prefer because I, I I think that I. I Let me think tell you I, about the coffee industry now. <laughs> first of all, you want to think that you cold press you want to get the cold press first. You want to get a cold press first. <laughs> coffee industry is very appropriate. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I I'm gonna. I not. I don't think I'm gonna get the lumberjacks, but I think I'll find a book. <laughs> I'll find a book. Uh. There's quite a few books called The Lumberjacks. Some of them are a little more romantic. How about The Lumberjacks Bride? <laughs> I might get that instead. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Our love is not meant to be, for you are a high-born lady of a lord, and I am a rough, <laughs> rough principal lumberjack. <laughs> That's the book. You've read it, obviously. Gridiron I Underground. Lived, I, I, I lived it, Leo. Oh, I, won't tell you, I won't tell you where there is, as the lady or is at the lumberjack, but... This is, this it was is the, it was a, it was a dance man. It this was a is dance. The one about football. A football wants to coach. As children, we don't always understand the hardships and adversities. So that's still one and a half. The constant sacrifices that so many of our parents and ancestors. I think at one, it sounds pretty good though. For us to live the lives we do. This particular article was in no way written to suggest that a black player could not coach. Rather, it was written to shed. I think that sounds like it sounds like a weird, a little bit of an odd human, but it sounds good. Weird there human. are far worse <laughs> human readers. I got to tell you. Yeah, true. Some yeah. are terrible. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning has all the tools your employees need to make your business thrive. Give your team the gift of enjoyment while learning. Courses are entertaining and binge worthy, keeping your team interested and vested in their learning. Visit acilearning.com and give your IT team superpowers with ACI training.